Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea, US Campaign, episode number 46. Let's just get right into it. We have hopefully what's going to be a very exciting one. We have the Thresher in the thick of it, just being a major troll. Trying to get to the Yamato, the Mus Mu Musashi, who are definitely now visible. I've taken the, uh, taken the time to launch a single Avenger, which means we'll only have three in reserve right now, but um, without any ordnance, they do have the range to get between the two... Uh, Patrol screens or air screens, air cover, air detection radius, I guess it would be. So I'm going to launch one over there just so we have better visibility. Um, what is going on here? Are you guys... I, like, did you already drop your bombs or is this supposed to be what I do first? I have a feeling that you already dropped your bombs, but it doesn't hurt us to check again. It's a little bit weird in fact that we... And see you again. I, I think that this is well. Let's just go to tactical. Start. We have no bombs. Okay. Well, that explains it. Oh wait, we do have bombs. Okay, then that is what I was supposed to do next. And there's the there's the ships. Okay. Well, yet again, it started us really far off. I don't know why. So let's first detach four and eight, so that I have. Uh, can make my level bombing runs, which have not been very successful, but let's be honest, neither have the other bombing runs. We'll have these guys just kind of patrol in place, see what happens. And have the other ones just immediately go in. Uh, let me identify them first, just because I, again, this whole idea of slightly increasing their chances to hit. I, I mean, I guess that means that the dive that they come in on is actually RNG itself. The bomb drop positions are somehow RNG. That's not what I want. There we go. Alright, so what are we looking at here? No. Yes. I think, uh, I think this is the only one with a small funnel in the... Oh, wait. Yeah. It's, oh, nope. It's not this. Okay. Uh -huh. There it is. Aha! And you look like a Minikaze. Okay. Alright, which we probably already knew. Have we already attacked these things? I don't know. Go ahead and give them house. So number one. Focus on number two. <laughs> attack. Number five. Focus on number one. Attack. And then again, we'll just we'll take uh, Five and eight in after whoever whoever's uh, lucky enough to survive, which maybe is not that much luck, it's just whoever's, you know. It's very likely that they will both survive based on our current experience. We got pretty close before AA went off, which is good. Maybe that means that neither of these have dual purpose guns. I'm just not at all familiar with them. Seen a flag? Oh, so we're seeing some uh, some damage going in. I was wondering where this guy was going, but they are attempting to shoot or to drop bombs at that one. So some damage was done. It looks like a complete miss on the other one, which is disappointing. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't really care. Oh wait, we might have some. Oh, look at that collision avoidance. They are doing some collision avoidance. Ah, this is actually looking quite good. We might want to just have uh, 4 and 8 come in and target the Asashio. Because I'd rather one kill for sure than, you know, two partial kills. Although she is just taking it very poorly, hasn't she? Her rear is already in the, in the water. Have these already been hit? Man, she's listing. Okay, I'm pretty... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go ahead and call her sunk. So we'll target number one and start making our run. Might be a little premature because she hasn't actually gone under, which means she can still contribute AA fire. And in the meantime, by the way, let's have these guys one circle this way and the other circle the other way to see what we find in the other direction. Because I'm still like wondering why we started so far over. That is a very heavy list. The entire thing is on fire. It's still not wise of us to come in yet. 
So look at I'm gonna gonna use my my discretion. We can at least better get a better angle on the Minikaze. If she's gonna uh, proceed due west, then the best thing for us is to get north of her or south of her, so we have a 90 degree run. Completely the opposite of history. Oh my gosh, she's not. Is she sunk? I have my sound very low. She's not officially sunk, but yeah, her. She's in bad shape. I might even be putting out. I mean, there's a lot of smoke, so that means there's fires underneath, not just on the deck. She can't live, can she? Surely she can't. But I think she will. I think that fire is. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. Just when I was about to say, I think the fire is getting under control. Nope. Alright, so we'll come in with the, the remainder. The remaining two Dauntlesses, they won't be facing much in the way of AA, just a single Minikaze. Just get a little bit ahead of her, and let me actually pause her fast and consider, because we're in the wrong formation is what I just realized. What formation would be best? Okay, if we keep going forward, then we come back in. I think echelon right. So let's do echelon right. Um, which I guess that's the same as V, because the uh, number two position on V is to the right. But that's fine, this would be a guarantee. So we'll go like a little bit further, and then we'll do our attacks. We'll come in at a bit of an angle. Yeah, I think this is beneficial. Maybe, could be, maybe not. That looks good. It looks like they're not really going to be in formation anyway, which is not what I expected, actually. Anyway, these two should be pretty safe. They could get unlucky. AA, I mean, it's, it's kind of how it was in real life, right? I mean, you aren't hit until you are. I think that they're making two individual runs. Unless echelon right is kind of broken. Man, just terrible. Absolutely terrible. And we lost one. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> you're doing fine until you're not. Well, let me just hit F9 here, speed along. That's very disappointing. I think if we just had all of them go and actually attack with machine guns, we might be able to do some damage. That is just dreadful. Uh, anyway, we'll have... Uh, let me go up here. Just want these guys to finish their, their little patrol. There we go. So we get... Make sure there's nobody nearby, at least nobody apparent nearby. I think we've more or less satisfied my, uh, my curiosity. We got the one that mattered. If they have one more Minikaze, you know, moping about, that's not that big of a deal to me. Okay. It does have minor damage, so I suppose we have hit it at some point. RTB for this group. Um, this does make me wonder, what are we doing? So we have... Seven Dauntlesses coming back. Eight positions available, so we're only down one Dauntless so far. I think that these guys have already gone and done their attack, right? I do remember dropping, so that's four. <clears throat> Which means we're down two Avengers so far. Okay, those are that's not bad. That's really not that bad. Alright. I did launch a few patrols, yeah, a few air things, so from Rental Island we have a a sweep of what's going on over here, looking for those last two remaining submarines. Which, probably the more telltale sign of them is just uh, when we see flow planes. Otherwise, lots of little people moving around. This, uh, so who's that? Easy. Probably get them to make a more direct run. Yeah, like that. Hornet's ready to go. 
Should we be going after the last one? I don't know. I really don't. The last destroyer, I mean. By the way, I don't even know. Did we get both the destroyers in this one? With the high explosive bombs? I honestly do not remember. Doesn't seem like... Okay, we have 30 minutes left, so let me actually take some time and launch some, some float planes. I mean, this seems like the right time to do it, right? Not going to get another chance before night falls. So let's just uh, take a peek at what's going on. And the nice thing is, by the time they detect us, it'll probably be too late to launch, which is kind of this cool, like... I don't know. I, I don't know how it works, but if it works the way I think, we'll actually have time to... Uh, to, to get home, we should be getting home basically unscathed because they won't be able to launch by the time they detect us. It'll already be past the, the time when you can launch. So, great trick. Just put that away. Grab this guy. Launch some more aircraft. I think we'll launch one more this way, which will give us good visibility on the destroyers we just saw. And then, yeah, we can probably go crazy on this. Just go like this so that the return path is actually really close to uh, Shortland Islands, but it won't matter. Hmm, interesting. Did not hide this, the aircraft. I want to launch at least one to the other side. And this might also be another one of those things where we just let this go as far as possible, and then let them return uh, however they want. Because we I don't expect, I think that'll be over 30 minutes away, so they won't be able to launch any interceptors to pursue. Okay. And let's do this again. Last aircraft, where do we want this one to go? I think we'll just have this one go way north. Yeah. So doing something like a 300 here and then coming back a little bit to the left, we're also going to be moving to the left, I guess, right? Should we be going in? Yeah, let's let's do it. I want to go in and do shore bombardment. And if we want to do that, now is really the right time to do it. A little bit scary considering we do have... This is actually pretty cool. We do have the um, Yamato and Musashi on the move. Nonetheless, if we can take Shortland Island's airbase down to zero, we will not have to worry about any aircraft in the slot. Really, that'll be so cool. I mean, we won't have to worry about any aircraft in the slot that are launched from that are fighters or that are not carrier-based. So that'll let us know, I mean, especially with the last of the submarines going down, no more of the heavy cruisers. There's almost nothing that can launch aircraft out there, except for carriers and some light cruisers, which I don't think that they get for quite a while, so. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, Washington has some float planes we can also launch. Might even be a little bit redundant here. I think we'll, I kind of want to do like a zigzag pattern. Something like that. Just, this is like an area I think is could be a potential target. And then wouldn't be advisable for us to send zero aircraft. <laughs> down this way, so I think we'll send at least one. Didn't Washington, didn't I set one of these guys on to like do constant patrols? Maybe not. So let's do one like this. Ah, something like that, who knows. Whatever. You know, that's good enough. That's all the scouting I wanted. I don't want to waste too much time doing that, because then we're not going to advance time. So, off you go. Uh, Gar. Go to. This is an encounter that I can ignore, or not. I don't think I'm going to ignore this. I have no idea what it is, because we don't see it. My Avengers are here too, which is weird. I am on the surface, so it is a bombardment. Dang it. Alright, dive, 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 dive. And I'm actually gonna get my aircraft to come this way. Oh, yeah, we can kinda like protect, protect the gar. Retreat as well. Gar should also activate her radar. Until that moment when 
are safe. Oh, there they are. Okay, Avengers. Just kidding. You should get the heck out of here. Turns out we're up against some zeros. Doesn't look like it's going to be a big problem, though. Mm. And we'll probably just leave at the end of 90 seconds. Okay, that was... That's why I didn't see the aircraft, because... <laughs> I turned off aircraft, of course. Alright, let's keep moving. Okay, since we know that we're not going to be able to use our Port Moresby aircraft, I think I ought to start launching these as well. And you know what, honestly what I need to do is wait until a little bit closer. Okay, something like that, and then they'll go home. Alright, so we'll cancel this and then right around 1600 is when I'll launch the last one, or last two even. Just so we have a little bit of extra reconnaissance before the curtain of lack of aircraft falls. And I know I really should be doing the same thing with a CTF dog here, but I have my limits. I'm a mere mortal. So, uh, we can go a little bit further. Really cutting it down to the last minute. Here we go. Two Avengers will launch both of these, but let's have one go up here. Just peruse along the coast. Catch anything we can catch. Okay, and then they'll come back home. And the other one... We can go maybe... They kind of like this route, right? So we can kind of see what they might be doing, doing this. Okay, let's do it that way. Fair enough. That's the last of my scouting for, for the day, until morning. Tamber's going, Thresher's going, everyone's going. And then yeah, we will go and make our bombardment. So the curtain of nightfall has fallen. Cannot launch. Fantastic. Okay. That means that our float planes should all be safe. Oh, we got them. And right at night, too. This is kind of a better situation. Thresher doesn't have very many torpedoes left, but we would be loath if we passed up an opportunity, any kind of opportunity, to take a shot at two, the two biggest ships. Well, I mean, two biggest battleships to ever, to ever eat on Earth. It's, it's, no, everyone wants to use hyperbole, but in this case, it's actually appropriate. Oh my gosh, they are close. And they're headed this way. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Got a shot, got a shot, got a shot. This is a real, this is a real deal. Oh, there's a lot of crap in the water. Okay, uh, who do we want to go for first? We want to try not to be detected here. I guess we'll just take the closest one, so it doesn't matter. We're launching everything at one. Are they going to change course? So far, no. Oh my god, Thresher. You have got a chance. You have got a chance, my friend. I'm st my, uh, my heart's starting to beat a little bit faster. This is pretty cool. Okay, here we go. So let's, um, yeah, we can get pretty close then. Would not be impossible to see us though. Honestly, we can probably drop down. I don't want to risk detection. So I don't want them to do anything. So let me just do, go down to 40. Going to, down to seven knots as well. Just to make sure that we're very, very difficult to spot. Let's go down. 
them, let them fly over us, and then we'll come back. We probably can detect these things even in hydrophones. I mean, I assume we could detect them on hydrophones. Maybe not going seven knots, but... Let them go overhead, and then we'll prepare our... You know, solution is actually at 75% just with hydrophones. Which is inc it's just insane. We actually have four tubes. Okay, we have five tubes for it. Whichever tubes that we had more of, we were going to fire. <laughs> so, wasn't a question. <clears throat> Probably only do like a two degree spread. And we'll just get as close as we... Oh my god, we are so close already. You know what? We don't have time. We, we have to do this like right now. So, let's drop down. Go up to periscope depth. <clears throat> and just prepare to fire. And drop, drop down our speed, by the way, so I'm just not detected, because we're, we're close enough that I'm actually at risk of being detected. Look at this air patrol. This is insane. Okay, turn on radar again. Wait for the 100% accuracy, and then we launch all five. <clears throat> at this distance, two degrees spread is basically nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're at 92. Scope up. Oh my god, we're so close. This is just awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I don't know why our solution's bad. I, think, I guess it's because of weather. But let me just straighten out and we're going to fire. Okay. Because we can't really get that much closer. <laughs> Gorgeous. Huge. Just, they're just enormous. Okay. Straighten up. Four tubes, all five, two degree spread, fire. Let me get the bounce. Okay, fire. Now, just go. Now, I could do some manual fire stuff here. Anyways, those torpedoes are away. I guess we would be really missing out if we didn't watch. Oh my god, they're going to hit so quickly. We're not going to have much time to get away, unfortunately. But the torpedoes are looking good. Probably needed more of a spread, turns out. But that's fine. Look, okay, we'll make do. Let me actually just... I really want to launch the last... The, the other ones, mm. but they're all going to hit in the same spot because the spread is the wrong way. Dud. Two hits. Dud. Three hits. Okay. Almost in all the same spot. Now, I think what we'll do is still launch at her. Here comes the escorts. Or I can launch at the escorts. Yeah, we got to take our shot, right? I think you just really can't miss. We're gonna fire, let's do a bigger spread, four degrees, and fire all our rear, rear torpedoes as well. And then we'll just, we'll dive for the hills. Yep. Oh my goodness, where are those torpedoes going? I... what the hell happened? Did I... what did I do? Oh, they're curling. <laughs> I think we're gonna end up sinking one. 
Incidentally sinking one of them. Oh god, please don't hit with all of them. Please don't hit with all of them. Good. One got by. Two got by. Three got by. Wow, all four of them went under. That's that's actually kind of bad luck. <laughs> I, I didn't want all, all of them to go under. And it looks like they're all going to miss, too. That's a bummer. There's the last of our torpedoes as well. Yeah, I probably could have manually aimed that. That was a lot. That was... I didn't realize how close we were. I could have manually aimed a lot better than that. Say la vie. At this point, we're just trying to get... As quickly out of the number three's range, the C state is four, so we're probably going to be detected here. I'm sensing uh, a tough time for the Thresher ahead. Just need to get down as quickly as possible. We are still cavitating, but I think that they, I think the way they detect you is not even with the cavitation stuff. We may actually have eluded this one. Is she turning? She's turning. So she may have us. She's studying up on us. Not yet. Yeah, she's definitely guiding herself in. So this is going to create some problems. Treasures are in the water. Now, one way I could, I think, survive this initial depth charge is by um, blowing ballast right now. But I, I just don't think that that's going to work. How are we doing? Do they have depth charges in over us? see some right here, but the next ones are the one we have to worry about then. Yeah, they actually haven't launched a pair that's going to hit us. We might squeak out of this. Amazingly. If we were even to take a single hit, this we, we would be dead. Okay. I think that's the first time I've ever survived a depth charge run, which is crazy, but like why how would it be? But that's actually the case. I don't want to cheat this one, so I'm not I'm gonna try not to, but I'm gonna start that timer just in case something that I feel is unfair happens. <laughs> Give ourselves the opportunity to abort mission if needed. And I guess we're actually fine. We're in our baffles, which is fantastic. I don't care that we're not cavitating. I still feel like going nine knots underwater is going to be it's going to create some issues. And I think we have zero torpedoes left. 
Ooh, we have one. Honestly, that's what I should be paying attention. I mean, look at I got a little, got a little preoccupied there, but we do have one Yamato who has suffered significant damage. And the other destroyers, it looks like, are trying to rendezvous with. No, they aren't. So we might be okay. We might be able to surface and launch another torpedo. Why not, right? <laughs> we have them. Let's come over this way. We have to use our rears, so it's a little bit awkward, but... Yeah, maybe they think that they got us or something. They're actually coming back this way. Are they? We lost number three. Well, that's easily solved. We can just look. <laughs> Yeah, I thought she might go that way, so I'm going to move off to the side a little bit more. So far, so good. Yeah, those you models just really bugged the hell out, which is... Oh, no. Not again. Well, I don't want to lose a Thresher, but I think we're going to. I could, by the way, just end it right here. I don't know how they detect us. I, I just not, I'm not exactly sure. Sea State 4, so they're probably using passives. Anyway. Uh, I guess our best bet is to go hard across at this point. Yeah, they're going to get us. The next ones that come out are going to be the ones they do it. Yep, that's the one. Those are the ones sinking right there that are going to be very problematic to avoid. This is what the advantage of being deep is, though. Oh, we avoided it. Holy cow. We avoided it! <laughs> okay, get back down. Get back down. The Japanese were not this good at ASW, but neither were the Americans this omniscient about this Japanese positions and all that, so... Turn around is fair play, I suppose. We make a hard turn behind into their baffles. I'm panicking because if I accidentally press W, I mean S instead of W, we kill ourselves. Crushed up is exactly 350 in this thing. Uh, how do I quickly go emergency reverse? <laughs> When we are in reverse, which way do we turn? This is a question I've been wondering for a while. Oh yeah, we're going the wrong way. Definitely. So it works how, how it should, by the way. Just kind of hanging out. <laughs> Nothing to see here. No other destroyers in sight, by the way. So honestly, one of the things we could do is probably just, you know, decide to come up and uh, try to launch a torpedo at her.
try and do the opposite spin that they do. They unfortunately can turn tighter than we can. This is still the right thing to do though, because they are going to have a hard time getting perfect crossing shot. Oh god, they are. They aren't going to get the perfect crossing shot. Hoping that they don't continue that turn. Yep, those depth charges again. Okay, this is us. Might get lucky again. Crazy times, I'm telling you. Crazy times. Another depth charge pass survived. I accidentally hit 360. That was terrible. Terrifying. Okay, look it. We've done it. I'm calling it. We did well. We could spend the whole episode just doing that, but then we'd basically be playing a, ver a worse version of Silent Hunter 3. Um, or really, a there's a lot of better submarine simulators than this, but... Very tense, though, no? Okay, so Thresher, you've done a fantastic job. Your mission now is just to come home. You've done it. There's really nothing more you can do. You have no torpedoes. Unless you're going to use your deck gun against the Yamato and... Well, 9 out of 10... Top military advisors do not suggest doing that. There's always somebody, you know. Okay, wow. Oof, my heart rate was going. That was that was a lot of fun. It's the first sub submarine um, engagement that I have survived. And I wonder if maybe they've taken down the AI a little bit. They used to be like pff, ultra capable. We've we've seen it on them in this series. So I wonder if something has changed. Not seeing any... You know what? Maybe you guys should just go home and get some refits. There's only... You know what? Actually, there's only two submarines left. Which means it's more important to keep these guys out. Back in you go. Kind of like around here is where we used to see them. Yeah, just do a loop or something like that. Okay, and then what else are we doing? We aren't launching anything because I didn't launch in time. There's the B-17s, all eight of them, because I misclicked. Okay, what do we have? Three, I mean, I'm not gonna fight anyways. We have zero torpedoes, zero. We probably could have Gar come back over and guard this area. Considering now submarines have like immunity, 100% immunity. And the other thing we'd like to do for sure is get uh, Tambor into the fight. That's weird. I swear they had more range than they're saying that they have. These aircraft went home way too early. Is this supposed to be like a full-on bombardment thing? It does kind of look like they're trying to do like a bombardment. Oh gosh, we have people getting close. These groups... Oh yeah, that one has 10. That's why we can't all go together. And you are approaching, it's almost midnight, so it's really high time for you to be on the way back out. Anyway, uh, well, I mean, if we take the base down to one, actually, it's already at one. I, we don't really, there's no repercussions. We don't really care about them sending fighters at us. Oh, okay. One destroyer, that would be fun, but we can't divert. We're gonna have to let that one go for now because we cannot divert. We are on a strict timetable. And it looks like the Wildcats actually can go out and don't tell him, don't tell the dev, don't de let him do it, let them do it. <laughs> Apparently they will go out on their scout mission, <laughs> even at night. <laughs> 
Wonderful. Okay, that's great. And we'll soon be close enough to bombard. I will waste, like, all of our shells on this because it's just that important to me. Okay. I think we're close enough. Ah, we got it. Okay, move away. We don't really care about the port one. That doesn't matter to me. And that means we still have a good amount of ammunition left, which is fantastic. And we will also go for this destroyer. At night, which is, you know, a little precarious, but... Okay, let's do tactical and see if we get him. Northeast. Should be to the northeast. It's almost time for us to go, but... Alright, Patterson, take us up this direction, which is I mean, we're at his expected position, at least. And do so at... Let's go up to, like, basically squad max, which I think is 27? 28. Okay, we'll, we'll stick at 27 so that everyone can, ca can catch up. We have all our radars on, so hopefully somebody gets the target, because they can steam away very quickly. In fact, maybe I should even detach the Patterson. Are they somewhere up here, though? This is basically due north. Yes, yeah, so let me detach the Patterson. Oh, let me actually detach the Henley. This will make more sense so that the formation isn't broken. Alright. They're going to return to their formation. And in the meantime, we're going to go off this way. Okay, good. And uh, the waiting game begins. I'm gonna eat a bite of this brownie. Surely they wouldn't dare attack me while I'm eating a brownie. Hmm. That's a good brownie. I want to go a little bit more. Eh, that's a little too much. Something a little bit more this way, though. Better cover our bases, in my opinion. Yeah, once they get into a line, it appears that they don't have any problems, but we know that they're here. We know that destroyer is here. It just depends on whether or not we're going to be able to get to her in time. We'll take them up to 28. Squad max. Everyone's using their radar, but no reports of anything yet. I'm also thinking that since there's no land in this direction, if they are to the north, we should spot them, but not necessarily. Okay, well, look, at all pause this and just let this happen, eat the rest of my brownie, and then cut back in. Unfortunately, we did not make contact with the enemy. And just to see if we're... Yeah, so we're like five nautical miles from the coast, which I don't think he's on the coast. Where are you? Show yourself. Final scan. Yeah. Okay. Off we go. So apparently that did get him because he disappeared from, from the map, but oh well. So annoying these such bad lines. Anyways, get going. Off you go. Hurrah.
These destroyers are definitely- Whoa! We overran them. But we don't really care. The main prey is two hours away. Oh! Oh my gosh! You turn down. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, redeploy dog off this way. Um... Not ideal. That is not ideal. Don't know how long they've been been here for, but well, I'm afraid to say that it could be a while. It could have been a while. Transports haven't made it, so Easy's here. She's gonna take command of the slot. No real threats right now. I guess she can kind of actually patrol with Dog. Dog's mission is, if we're lucky, we'll get close enough. Actually, we gotta really round some corners here. Do some real geometry. If we're lucky, we can get down here fast enough to launch at her with something before she can round the corner and head away from us to Port Moresby. I mean, I think actually we need even less, we need even more of a straight line. 15 hours. I think this is going to be reasonable, though. And they do have one damage ship, which again, I guess doesn't matter. Thresher, maybe you should, just to keep tabs. That is a lot of crap. <laughs> Nor. Back. Went off this way. Oh! 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 Tactical! And that's where we're going to conclude this one. <laughs> Let's just see if, it, if we actually have a fighting chance first. Which way is nose on? I do not see them. But this is good. I mean, this is exactly what we want. So this is definitely a good shot. There they are. Max speed and charge into the battle we go. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode. Sorry for another cliffhanger. And this is a good one, isn't it? So hopefully we can get over there and manage to put a few more torpedoes. Tambor certainly is has no shortage of those. We'll try to make good use of them. But until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.